I'm here. I, I don't know if I should say what I'm doing. I, I can I say it? I'm I'm watching live golf. Don't. No worries don't there. No me. worries there. Okay. All right. I, I didn't know. I don't want anybody to judge me. Hey, it's about making money. That's all. <laughs> you're looking to you can make right, a buck on right. it. You can make you a buck on it. You can't do a shotgun start in the PGA, but I mean, there's some intrigue to the programming. I mean, I, you know, they're onto something. You know, there's going to be this controversy. It's going to follow them right now. There's no getting away from it. But it, maybe, it's, you know what? It's, it's it's controversial until the next controversy comes. <laughs> That's usually how it works yeah, right. in the sports world, right? Something the P- something look, something will happen. Tour, and, something will happen. Yeah, the PGA Tour, no. hey, it's still talk. People are talking about it. I got yeah. you talking to me. Yeah, and okay. the thing is, is once uh, NFL training camp is about to start, there'll be some controversy here in another week. So no worries about that. All right, that. all right. That's it. It'll be water in the bridge. You know. It'll be water on the bridge before you know it. We've seen this so many times. Anyway, so uh, baseball today, early start, 6.40 Eastern time here. These, these small market start times. Uh, we got the uh, Reds here hosting the Orioles here with the Orioles minus 125 here, a total nine and a half. Yeah, Tony, preview of the 2025 World Series tonight uh, in Cincinnati. <laughs> Got an all-star pitching matchup. Uh, Kyle Bradish comes off the disabled list for the Orioles and Mike Miner. You can still get some lefties out now and then, now and again. He's 1-7, though, with a 6.65 ERA. Tony, he's got an expected ERA over over five and uh, expected batting average uh, close to 300 expected slugging in the mid 500s uh look it just you know mike minor can't get people out right now and the orioles are going to come in with a lineup with hayes uh mancini's still an oriole right i mean i saw him round in the bases yesterday on that error in right field uh i think we all can agree i mean i love you know i love you trey mancini but uh, it's an error when it hits the guy in the head. He loses it. Look, I know the sun is supposed to be like the dirt. You know, you lose it off of a bad hop. The same as losing it in the sun. It's a professional baseball. You got to catch that ball. But Trey Mancini had the home run yesterday in the three nothing win. Orioles had a pretty good series. You have Mount Castle, Santander. I like all the bats tonight, Tony, uh, against Baltimore for sure. We'll see what. Bradish brings to the table coming off the DL. We know one thing. He loves to uh, get neck massages from watching the home run balls fly over the fence. He's, uh, you know, he's not having that great of a year. He's just coming off the DL. He's given up well over two home runs per nine innings. Kramer's going to move to Saturday, by the way, to make room for Bradish coming off the disabled list. So I think the Reds' bats are fine here. They they hit pretty well in their last series. I think they earned a split. Uh, but you got to figure with India, Drury, Fam. I like the Reds' bats here, Tony. I'm going over tonight with the Orioles and the Reds. The Reds' bullpen of, you know, four and a half ERA. We're playing this game in Cincinnati. So I'm going over tonight. Uh, with the Orioles and the Reds. All right, we've got uh, Ramon here going over the total here uh, in this one as uh, the the, uh, the Reds here uh, and uh, these teams did get I, together. Did I, I didn't mess you up. Did I saw the graphic there? No, no, that was me. That was me. I think I might have screwed okay. it up there. <laughs> I might have had it. I, actually, I was on my, on my uh, uh, screen here. I think I had it right. Did I have it right? Yeah, we do. We go. We got it right. That was on the wrong screen. Mets here. No, that's not Ramon's pick. Mets is the over. I think I got us. Yeah. I think I got us crossed up there. Anyway, he's on the over in this one. Uh, in this, this game between the uh, Orioles. Uh, receive repeated again. Yeah, sorry, Tony. I'll just give it to you right now uh, to be clear with everyone. It's tonight, Baltimore and Cincinnati. We're going uh, over the nine and a half. There are some tens out there. I don't mind that either. It's going to be ten under fifteen or twenty if you got a ten. Uh, the nine and a half. You're actually probably going to get a. A uh, little bit of a juice price as well. I don't mind either one, Tony. I think the sharps are kind of on the under, but it's over. Yeah, I'll give you a second there. Over the nine and a half, Baltimore and Cincinnati tonight uh, in the small park. The small park. Yeah, I got it crossed up. I put your, I put uh, your pick on my graphic, and my pick well, in your graphic. Want, <laughs> hey, look, whatever I can do to try to catch you uh, in the standing, you know. Tony, I, I don't know. You know, sometimes when I see uh, your play and it's my premium, I feel pretty good about that. I got to be honest. You're having a great season. Everyone knows that. Uh, you know, impressive what you're doing. I mean, uh, 
You got it right now, right? There we go. There we go. We got it right. I had it crossed up. I had, like I said, we had it. We had it crossed up. So you already know my pick on the next thing, but it's okay anyway. So we got Orioles Reds over nine and a half here. Of course, um, uh, you know. Of course, we we're looking here. Well, of course, we, if you handicapped it yesterday, you thought it would be Creamer, right? And so it gave a totally different outlook on this game. Now you got Bradish coming in. He's like, oh wait a minute, nope, nope. I can't look at the Baltimore side, but yeah, I think that over may be the way to go. And look at the wind here. Or, or, 10 miles per hour is forecasted in this one with 82 degrees. Yeah, and I think that's what we've seen when we've seen the uh, the move, certainly. Uh, like I said, I mean, I don't know where you – it depends. You, you could shop and get both, I'm pretty sure. But uh, if this lineup comes in, Hayes, Mancini, Santana, Man, Mount Castle, I like them down even there, uh, you know, through the lineup. And, of course, the Reds are going to have a good lineup uh, stacked up against Bradish. Uh, Tony Bradish has given up, uh, you know – the home runs per nine is very high in the, in the small ballpark. Baltimore has been great. I, I tease you a little bit saying that this is a world series preview. Of course it's not. I mean, but Baltimore's had a great run. They've been fun to watch. They've obviously made uh, everybody uh, some good money this season. Uh, and this is a, you know, a little, a little interesting series. I would think uh, Mike Miner's not doing much at all. Tony, oh. let's be <laughs> honest. Yeah, minor has just been atrocious. <laughs> so that, 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 you can, that, no doubt about that. That's going to help this over a lot when you look at minor's numbers. He's just been a, a train record over ERA in the mid sixes. Uh, you know, it does 29% ground balls. That's tough there when you're in that in that ballpark. 2.74 home runs per nine. We have we have two pitchers that given up over two and a half home runs per nine innings here, remote. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the way I that's the way I saw it, Tony. I, and I'm the ones sure going out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Look, I think Baltimore's the right side just because they've been uh, so much hotter, but you definitely have a bit of a crapshoot here of some, probably some high volatility uh, going on in this one. So uh, Baltimore and Cincinnati, just want to preview that one uh, for you to close out our week. Thank It's been a great week with you for uh, previewing games. That's right, guys. Ramon here on the Orioles Reds. Over 9.5 this one to start here at 6.40 Eastern time. Ramon, let's take a look over at TonySpace.com uh, where you've been on absolute fire. 5,805 units of profit. That is correct. You are seeing this graph. And this is not for the year. This is for 30 days. He's also sits the top leaderboards for the year, for the, the uh, uh, top unit producer of TonySmith.com for the year 2022. But 5,805 units of profit here. What a what a magical July it has been for Moe Scott. But he's not stopping. He's been on fire here, guys. So get on board. Tonight, we've got a good card here from Major League Baseball. No day baseball. So that's 15 games on the board. we got some WNBA. It's a CFL weekend. UFC is coming up as well. Uh, what do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Thanks a lot for that, Tony. It makes me feel good. Uh, really, it's been a, a great run, man. Uh, even the last couple of days, kind of been flatlining a little bit. The number still remains good because the results have been so solid now. Uh, really, over 60 days, right? Uh, if you look at it, uh, I can't wait for football season to get here. I've got a three pack in the major leagues tonight for $30 on the early games. These are the uh, basically the games before 8 Eastern and 5 Pacific. And uh, we'll have a night pack as well still to come. I want to see a couple of lineups if I can before I pop those packages up. I'd like to get them earlier, and I'd like to get them out to the subscribers. But uh, obviously we're seeing some uh, shifts. We already saw some shifts with some other openers and things like that as well on the docket so there's some late breaking information and it'll continue to be that way throughout the weekend tony if these players uh you know like mancini end up getting dealt uh, my notifications keep coming across about the latest big trade and it's you know really guys that uh most people haven't even heard of so there's really been uh, no action uh, to speak of just yet so it should be a big weekend there we got two games in the wnba tonight tony my previews are up uh, I whiffed yesterday with my WNBA previews, but got a couple of games tonight, including uh, the two best teams their teams off of their Commissioner's Cup appearance earlier this week on Tuesday. So take a look at my videos. I'm expecting one play tonight as a premium. Uh, just a little bit timid maybe there because I just can't seem to string anything together in the W, which uh, usually has been a pretty strong league for me, Tony. Uh, I'm going to cover that in just a moment with you, but also there's one game in uh, the CFL tonight, and we will have a premium up in this game. 
My preview is also up on Tony's Picks YouTube channel. British Columbia, the BC Lions are taking on Saskatchewan uh, in the lone CFL game tonight, Tony. So uh, that's the card there. And, uh, you know, talk about, you know, in the WNBA, Tony, I, I like that league and it's been a strong league for me. I'm proud to say that, you know, and on our site so far, you know, I'm at the top of the, your leaderboards in pro basketball, pro hockey, pro baseball, the big sports that people want. And I specialize in these niche sports. Even, you know, my CFL, 7-4, and four, last 11. My MMA, 13-3, and three, last 16. Tennis, 32-21, and 21, last 53. And I can't seem to break through in the WNB, and I've worked so hard on those videos. Tony, I, I might need a little coaching from you uh, there because you're able to put your – baseball packages together every night and come out with such a strong uh, winning percentage. So just appreciate you, Tony. We're going to keep at it. Maybe we'll crush them in the playoffs or still, as you know, uh, three weeks to go in the season, in the postseason, in the WNBA. That's right, guys. Get on with the most got over at Tony's Picks. You see the numbers here, 58 105 units of profit last 30 days. Uh, very good performance here for Ramon. Past six days, been on fire. He's got an MLB premium three pack up there right now. Get on board. Affordable pricing, just $30 here uh, uh, for Ramon on that three day pass. Also, uh, Ramon's got some long term passes up there. If you're thinking ahead here with college football, that's up there. CFL, WNBA season passes. But again, as Ramona is in action in all sports. So uh, I want to say this again, this one month all sports pass, probably your best value there over at TonySpicks.com. Uh, you want to get on board with Ramon with this all sports pass. When we say all sports, we mean all sports. He's in action in many sports as we've talked about. Not only the major sports here with Major League Baseball, we've got preseason football next week as we get the Hall of Fame game going on. Of course, that will cover the, the, the uh, three weeks of preseason uh, with that one month all sports pass. We are now looking at... Um, College football now, right? So we'll circle that into Thursday, and that will probably have that those those first early games there from college football. There's some college football in there already in, in, in the Ramon's uh, members area as well. Uh, so you look at that European football. We got the the kickoffs here from EPL, Bundesliga, La Liga. A lot of them going in action. Of course, the Ramon in action there as well. Uh, not to mention UFC. We got a big UFC pay per view card up there uh, uh, tomorrow. So Ramon is in the action in UFC. A lot of action here for Ramon Scott over at Tony's. We we document it and he handicaps it. So we'll we'll keep documenting. We got cappers out there that handicap it. We don't have to worry about the grading. Our our provider, our line provider, our our scores provider, our graders, our graders take care of it. We don't do that. They it's the programs that program it from the service that we contact. It's working. We're happy with it. And uh, guys, uh, of course, tennis. Don't forget about the tennis. Uh, there's a lot of action there. Ramon Scott here's so those morning tennis matches you get up there from Ramon Scott as you get those European leagues as well. Lots going on with Ramon Scott over at TonySpitz.com. 5,805 minutes. That's not all baseball. <laughs> 5,805 no. minutes are all baseball. It's a lot, of, a lot of other action in there for Ramon, right? But if I will mention, Tony, that uh, over the last 30 days, and right there on our documented leaderboard, I mean, I, I keep – patronizing you telling you how great you are i'm, I'm coming fast three plus three thousand units last 30 days in major league baseball yes the bang for your buck uh the higher volatility that's what tony's talking about i'm giving you more plays putting in action a lot of games you can pick and choose you're still gonna should experience the same types of winning percentage uh, uh, if you miss a play it's not a big deal so uh that's the way i look at it when i'm talking about a volume a person like myself, Tony, in all these sports. Reason I like handicapping all these sports, just like you, the fan. I like watching all these sports, keeping on top of the games. I appreciate everyone who specializes in their sports and they don't want to dive into these other sports. They have lives. I don't. Let me do the work for you. You want to see these games, uh, and I'm going to be, uh, you know, checking them out uh, throughout the weekend, Tony. Uh, uh, all those leagues that you mentioned, uh, no doubt about it. But look, like I said. Uh, most proud of the fact that I'm, you know, basically in the top three in all your major sports so far, and we're coming up to our first football season. Uh, by the way, NFL postseason is the only thing really we had at Tony's Picks. Went nine and six there uh, in the NFL postseason. So, I mean, that's the small sample. I'm just saying, you know, 
Yeah, and don't forget, that, and don't know, forget that uh, that NBA postseason run you had too. <laughs> that was that was pretty impressive as well for the NBA. Uh, so uh, in postseason, so uh, guys, get on board with Ramon Scott. That one month all sports pass is the way to go. Also, don't forget we don't want to forget the MLS. MLS is in action again with a big card here for this weekend. Also, he delves into uh, Liga MX Mexican soccer. He lives there in this right near the border town in San Diego, so he knows that league very well. Sometimes you get league Mexican from baseball as well. So lots going on. Lots we we document. Lots of tanning and posted it by Ramon Scott over at TonySpace.com. All right, Ramon, it's always a great having you show. Continue that success. We'll talk with you next week, but I know we put together a Twitter account where they can find even more picks there at Tony's Picks Ramon. Yeah, and I do have my pick tonight on the Twitter account, Tony at Tony's Picks Ramon. Just picks there. You don't get any of this frivolous stuff that I'm trying to, you know, extend our show with Tony today and uh, give us a good show, but uh, just picks over there. Tony's picks Ramon and my pick tonight, Tony, is in Major League Soccer. We talked about the other major sports, uh, U.S. sports in action. I covered them all with you, basically, giving you the schedule. Just tell you tonight, the LAFC is going to be taking on Seattle in the late game tonight. That's the only game in Major League Soccer, and i got a pick for you, of course, but you have to log on to Twitter at Tony's picks Ramon to get it. Yeah, give a follow, Tony's Picks Ramon. Extra picks there from our handicappers here at Tony's Picks.com. We a wide range of handicappers, so we need we have all these outlets where we can put in unique picks there. We got one there from Ramon. Uh, hey, Ramon. I, I'm, I'm not just, you know, I, there's, a, there's a strategy. You know, I've learned things with doing this with you, and, it, and there's a strategy to it. And that's, like you said, you know, I kind of balance it out. Over this week, tonight, MLS is on the... But Twitter, you know, and that's what I like, the marketing aspect of this, too. It's just uh, great, great fun. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, a lot of people have asked about MLS. We got it now. We got the handicap. We're documented. So uh, get on board here with Mo and Scott. All right, Mo, keep it up. We'll talk with you next week. Thanks for everything, buddy. Have a All good right. weekend. We'll see you next week. I'm going back. I'm going to watch my live golf now. Don't, don't be judgmental. Going to watch it. We'll see. We'll see if Ramon gets some uh, premium plays on that as well. All right, let's continue on here.